This is our first lesson in how to add vectors algebraically if the vectors are not perpendicular. We've talked previously that if the vectors are perpendicular, we essentially use the Pythagorean theorem to add them. But if vectors are not perpendicular and we want to add them algebraically or mathematically, in other words, not graphically, then we need to first resolve vectors. So we're going to talk about vector resolution here, what it is, and then how to do it. Vector resolution is taking a vector and breaking it down, or resolving it, into two perpendicular component vectors. To do this, we use the angle, theta, along with sine and cosine functions as appropriate. For example, suppose we have a vector j that is at an angle theta above some reference line could be horizontal, could be east, could be any number of things. If we give an x and y direction, then what we want to do is we want to break vector j into an x portion or an x component and we want to break it into a y portion or a y component. And the way we would do that is we know that the definition of the cosine of this angle is that it is the length of jx divided by j. Well, j and theta we know. So to find jx, which is what we're looking for, we would simply multiply both sides of this relation by j, and that would yield this. Similarly, we would find the vector jy in the same sort of way, except we would use the sine. The sine of this angle is equal to jy divided by j, just like that. Multiply both sides of that expression by j, and you end up with jy. So the first thing we've done here is we have resolved vector j into its x component and its y component. So let's practice. Let's say we have a force vector. 68 newtons at 32 degrees above horizontal, as if someone might be kicking a soccer ball. We're kicking the soccer ball somewhat to the right or somewhat horizontally, but we're also kicking it upwards, vertically. And we want to know what the force horizontally on the soccer ball is and the force vertically. Whenever we use the cosine, that's going to help us get the magnitude of the adjacent leg of a triangle. So we're going to use 68 times the cosine of 32, and that'll be 58 newtons. And that component is a vector, so we have to give it a direction that away. We're going to do the same thing with the vertical force component. F sub v is equal to the hypotenuse you might think of this as times the sine of 32 and that's 36 newtons again that is vector so you must give it a direction upwards let's try another one we have a skier going down um, a slope at a speed of 14.7 meters per second clearly this skier is traveling at some speed horizontally but also some speed downward and we want to know what the components are of that velocity. 15 degrees below horizontal. To find v sub h, we're going to take the given vector times the cosine of the angle, because that's going to give us the length of the adjacent leg. 14.2 meters per second. Again, this is a vector, so we have to put a direction. The vertical component will be found you can see from the diagram that the vertical component is opposite the angle. So whenever you want to find the opposite leg of the triangle, you use the sine. 3.80 meters per second, and again that's a vector downward. Let's do one more. Here we have an acceleration vector at 38 degrees south of west. So west points to the left. 38 degrees to the south of that would be a vector something like this which clearly means that we are accelerating somewhat 
to the west, but also somewhat south. The westerly component will be found by taking 3.2 times the cosine of 38, 2.5 meters per second squared west. Notice that we have a direction, west. And the southerly component is going to be 3.2 times the sine of 38. Southern component of the acceleration is the leg of the triangle that is opposite the angle, 2.0 meters per second south. Let's summarize vector resolution. The first step in adding non-perpendicular vectors algebraically is to resolve each of the vectors you are given into two perpendicular components. Each given vector is, in effect, the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Resolving a vector means to find the lengths of the legs with the aid of sine and cosine and to identify the correct direction of those leg vectors. Next, we'll see what to do once we have found the components of the different vectors we have been asked to add.